I'm done for the day traders and this is how my account looks. I've got a small winner with ABMD just made $500 because I missed the 2000 uh, quantity where, which I should have taken and took just uh, 200 shares but that's a beautiful trade and I'm still riding 50 shares here. Um, so 500 and 500 open actually so uh, with 200 I did well just a thousand dollars with 200 shares this is amazing. Beyond was nice to me $1900 my first trade in EXAS was amazing then had a failing second a winning third had an unpleasant loser in five a very nice winner in Tesla I've got um, over eight grand in, the, in, 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 in trades that I, that I completed today and uh, I've got open $1400 so almost 10 grand altogether and that's a beautiful start for my week and a great Monday. So just about 10 grand for today let's take a quick look at uh, some of the trades so we can uh, possibly understand a bit more about them. Let's get through some. There wasn't really something special today just quite regular kind of trades for me. I'll start here with uh, EXAS which was definitely on my list you know because of the reason that the stock was is down right now 11% it was um, a bit higher than, than that when it opened but if you take a good look at uh, the way it behaved I really can't remember where I took it. Uh, I've wrote I've written down 9360 where was that 9360 right over here oh yeah now I remember it came down initially then popped up a bit that was a bit of a dangerous trade but uh, came down beautifully right here and continued coming down so a gap and go a classic gap and go for a stock that is gapping down dramatically and the more it gaps down in this case it down 12% right now so the more it gaps down the more likely for it to continue with the gap and go. Stocks over 3% they usually gap and go either up or down so when stock is down 12% as it is right now then definitely it's more likely to continue coming down so EXAS was uh, nice. Then I had a second trade which was uh, short over here stopped over the highs then it showed me like it's gonna make its way down again shorted it right over here and a nice third trade so third covered my loss in my second but anyway it was smaller size as I mentioned earlier when you take a great first trade and this one was up like as you just seen I'm up $5,700 in uh, EXAS so that was a great trade for me I started my day and I have to say at that point after my first trade today I felt like this is it for me I don't want to continue trading anymore today. I'm glad I continued because I doubled my profit but you know when you have a first great trade like the one I had here and you take the second one it was a quarter size the second one. I did not get to the point where I was risking more than 20% or so of my profit at the first trade. Third trade the same 20% why is that again not not risking too much just trying to have a very small trade not uh, getting to the point where I think I trust myself too much because I had a fantastic first trade just didn't do that and I'm glad I did not so that ended up nicely. My second trade today was Tesla over 503 so here's 503 right over no sorry it was before that 50250 yeah. on originally I posted it over 503 and then I changed it to 50250 which was this line over here. So uh, Tesla initially moved up I mean the stock is up today 5% and again a gap and go is due in Tesla's case also but Tesla's issue here is a bit different because everybody's watching Tesla everybody likes to trade Tesla and look at this beautiful move give us a beautiful trade and continue to move higher so again in this case it's a gap and go long so Tesla was very nice too uh, then took beyond <coughs> BYND posted beyond over 101.30 now take a look at uh, beyond here it is 101.30 was just a few cents 
below the highs. So beyond also started with a beautiful gap up. It's up right now 11%. Did not start up 11%, but again, a gap and go. It started up like 4 or 5%. And look at the way it came up, pulled back down, took it when it was close to the highs. Initially thought it was about to fail, but once it started moving higher this way, I thought it's probably going to continue. I have to say I took it half size. That's why you're seeing my profit at around two grand with beyond. So I took it just half size. The reason I did is because it was, I, I, I didn't really like the way it came down here. You see that pullback here was a bit too much in my opinion. Then I was watching it and thinking, well, it weighed its way so close to the high, it's probably going to go through. And it certainly did. This is an amazing trade. But I have to say, I did not trust it that much. So beyond uh, was very nice. Um, ABMD was my best pick today. <laughs> <laughs> it was my best pick today, but my smallest winner. So ABMD was posted under 167. So just take a look at 167 here and you can see that again, you've got the same case. Stock is down 16%, a gap and go. Everything was very classic at what I did today. I didn't do anything very special. So if you take a look at ABMD, started today dramatically down you want to let it move higher you expect it to fail moving higher because you expect the gap and go to succeed there's usually going to be a lot of buyers the buyers are really those who are just averaging down a 16 percent loss and so on so you let it move higher first sign of a pullback 167 i shorted it the only problem i did is i shorted 200 shares instead of 2000 i was sure i was sure i'm sure 2000 and look at the first way once it started coming down that was beautiful i thought i'm going to make thousands many thousands of dollars on this trade today but not really so i've got only 50 shares left and it's up almost uh, right now 9 points so I've made a grand on this 200 shares trade, which shows you that even with a small size, you can make a lot of money on big movers. So ABMD was a beautiful trade. And that's it for me. I'm going to finish my day up almost 10 grand right now. Uh, thank you very much for participating. Hope you had fun today. I mean, beautiful green Monday to start our week. So hope you did well. Thank you for your time. And I'll uh, see you all tomorrow, traders. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.